Good evening and welcome to PSVR News. On this evening's edition, Ghosts of Tabor developer roadmap reveals the PSVR 2 release days is close, reactions from those who went hands-on with the PSVR 2 and Horizon Call of the Mountain, fast travel games assemble VR content creators to Sweden to try out a secret PSVR 2 title, and finally, David Jagneau joins First Contact Entertainment. In a recent tweet from Ghost of Tabor's Twitter page, Combat Waffle Studios revealed the game's roadmap for 2023. The image in question revealed that a PSVR 2 launch is expected for the third quarter of the year. Ghosts of Tabor is often regarded as VR's answer to Escape from Tarkov, where players lose shoes and try to survive, with the devs going for a realistic approach. It offers both single player and co op missions to undertake, so it should keep you coming back for more. With CES 2023 behind us, more and more hands on impressions of the PSVR 2 headsets and Horizon Call of the Mountain have been flooding in. Our hands on impression correspondent, Jordan B. Peterson, has more. It was the moment many were waiting for a chance to try out the PSVR 2 headset and Horizon VR. VR content creators from all over the world made their way to Las Vegas to get the honor of trying it out for themselves. The response thus far has been overwhelmingly positive with many praising the comfort of the headset and controllers, the haptics of the headset itself and the impressive eye tracking features Though some, predictably, complained of the cable and also of tracking issues with the controllers which were supposedly caused by Bluetooth interference and shouldn't occur in a home environment. Horizon VR also had mostly positive feedback. The visuals were compared to Half-Life Alex by some, though the 20 minute demo was still not enough time to make a final judgment, especially as the demo was highly guided by the attendants and previewers were forced to use gesture movements. Instead of the analog sticks, even though that wasn't the preferred method of control, with PSVR 2 less than 40 days away, it's looking like the day one experience will be a good one. And with games like RE8 Village and Gran Turismo 7, also confirmed for day one, can only get better. This is Jordan B. Peterson. Back to you in the studio. Fast Travel Games have invited several VR content creators to their studio in Sweden to test out the PSVR 2 and an upcoming secret game. The event, which is being called the FTG Days event, is expected to last a few days, with creators such as Miles Dyer from PSVR Without Parole confirming he will be shown a secret game at the event on the latest Without Parole stream. With this in mind, it shouldn't be too long before the embargo breaks and the hands-on impressions from these creators go live, revealing whatever this top secret game is. Our final story tonight. David Jagneau, formerly of UploadVR.com and Meta, has joined First Contact Entertainment in a new role as Strategic Communications Manager. First Contact expanding in this manner does seem to indicate that they are getting ready to talk more about Firewall Ultra, hopefully in the not too distant future. Support PSVR News by liking and subscribing and all that usual YouTube and shite. That's it for this edition. Until next time, please stay moist.